everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and I've been getting a lot of email lately from people wondering how to get their camcorder video into their computer live. In other words, they want to use their camcorder like a webcam, and I've also myself been trying to get a video out of my video system, my ATEM, which I was using before, and now my TriCaster, uh, getting that video to loop back uh, through Skype so that when I'm interviewing people, they can actually see my camera and not like some weird uh, side shot from my computer's built-in web camera. So I did a little research and I came across uh, this little guy here called the Magwell. And this is an HDMI to USB 3 adapter. And never in my life have I seen something that actually does what I want it to do without having to do anything but plug it in, especially in the video world. This has been amazing the last couple of minutes playing with this thing. Uh, plugged in USB here, uh, plugged in HDMI here, and both my Mac and Windows PCs uh, just see it without having to install any drivers, and Skype sees it too, uh, as does Google Plus Hangouts. So uh, let's take a look at my Windows machine and see how it looks on Skype. Now normally when I'm doing an interview, this is what my viewer sees, not me looking at the camera like I might be right now, but actually this, because I'm looking up uh, at my studio camera and not uh, at the computer camera and uh, it's a little weird when you're interviewing somebody and you're ha trying to have a conversation and they really can't see you and react to your face so uh, this has been a real ongoing frustration point for me now with this little thing installed here I can just click on that and now I've got my TriCaster output and the cool thing with the TriCaster is that I can lock it in uh, to camera one here so it always sees uh, my camera even if I'm switching when I'm doing the recording the TriCaster has two outputs and it can uh, designate which one does what which is really really neat another neat feature on it is as well, I probably I may, I may use this. Um, is you can go into the audio settings here and actually have the HDMI audio uh, pick up on there as well. So I can change my microphone from uh, the Intel in internal one uh, to the digital audio interface on there. And, and you can check here, I'll just go ahead and uh, tap on my microphone a little bit here, and you can see that it's uh, picking up. Uh, that microphone taps. So you're definitely able to get the audio out of here too. Pretty cool stuff and I'm really, uh, really excited that I actually got something that can work. But let's check out the Mac and see how it works on there. So just like on the Windows machine, we've got our little Mac webcam up here. I can just go uh, down to the camera interface here and pull up our image from our TriCaster or your camcorder, whatever you put in. So again, a great way to get uh, all of this stuff brought over. I could also uh, do something with the audio too. So just like on the Windows side, I can select the microphone here. And as you can see, we've switched over to that audio. And if I tap the mic, you'll see that it's showing up on there as well. So it uh, works pretty much the same with both uh, Mac and Windows. But how does it work as a captured device? Because again, I bought this primarily for uh, intercommunicating with my guests that I'm interviewing, but does it capture well? Let's take a look. So this is my Mac capturing the Magwell uh, via QuickTime, so I'm not using my usual recording apparatus. And you'll hear that the audio sounds a little compressed. In fact, I'm really not impressed with the audio quality coming over uh, the device. So I think if you're going to rely on this for video capture, you might want to look at something like a Blackmagic or something else that will do uh, better audio quality. So how does it work with Hangouts on Air? Well, let's take a look here. We've got my webcam shooting me right now. We're gonna go back into the menu here. I am gonna shoot my screen here versus actually hook it up to my uh, TriCaster just so we can see exactly how it's gonna work without any uh, external video stuff going on there. But as you can see, it just found it just like a webcam, like everything else. And I can then switch to this as well. And I'm gonna save that. And what I'm gonna do actually is start a little uh, private broadcast. And this will become a YouTube video that uh, you can watch. I'll put the uh, link below into the uh, video description so you can see, uh, so you can get a feel for how it broadcasts. And one of the things that I'm looking at on here right now is I'm not seeing the interlacing that I would usually get uh, if I plug my TriCaster in uh, to one of those black magic devices I typically use. So uh, the Magwell hardware is actually doing de-interlacing in the process. And most cameras output at 1080i, which means that they do 540 pixels interlaced in each uh, cycle that it runs through to paint the frame on the screen. Uh, so you often get lines moving around when you move, when you have fast motion and that sort of thing. And I'm not seeing that here. So it looks like it's uh, doing the de-interlacing on the hardware side. So I'll put that link below so you can see uh, exactly what it looks like uh, on YouTube once that uh, Hangout on Air is over with, but it'll also look that way live as well. So I have to say, I'm really impressed with this Magwell device. Uh, for what it is, it's really gonna be helpful for me in that I can get uh, any HDMI device very easily without a driver uh, to output video via Skype or other uh, online communication tools that uh, require a webcam of some kind. So that's pretty cool. The audio quality is not very good at all, which was really disappointing. So if you wanted to do a more high quality broadcast, 
you're going to have to bring in your audio in a separate way, uh, which might introduce frame delay and some other things as well. So it might be a little bit more complicated to get that stuff done. Uh, the other downside is the price. This is about $300, so really, really expensive. Uh, does what I wanted it to do, which was why it was worth it for me, but it may not uh, be so great for you. So what are some alternatives? Well, the uh, Blackmagic has a couple of different devices. They have their intensity, and then they have um, these little mini recorder devices that work pretty well also. Those are uh, USB 3 and Thunderbolt devices. They work with Windows and Mac. Uh, they work great for Hangouts on air most of the time, really great for capturing, but uh, they don't work at all with Skype, and this does. So there's kind of the trade-offs there uh, in different types of capture hardware. But I have to say, I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy with this, and I'm going to be using it uh, quite a bit moving forward. So that is the Magwell USB to, or HDMI to USB device, and this is Lon Sivan. Thanks for watching.